Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how you remove echo in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you've not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here. We can find all the all instruments you can play. You have your audio recorder right here and so on. So let's go ahead and see how we can remove echo that we have in our song. So the first thing you want to do is open up your project. So I'm just going to open up the audio recorder right here. You can open up any of the instruments you have. It's all the same. It's going to open up this recording menu and what we want to do is go right here into the upper left corner, click on the mixing mode, that's going to open up this edit mode where we can find all the tracks that we have. So as you can see guys, here we have our drums, our keyboard and our audio recorder options and our vocals. So let's say that we have some echo in our vocals right here. This is what we can do. Basically what we want to do is click the sliders option right here at the top of the screen. That's going to open up the track settings right here. As you can see now we have all the options that we can manage. And what we want to do guys is scroll down until we find this option right here that says plugins and equalizer so click on plugins and equalizer and as you can see under plugins and equalizer one of the options is going to be called noise gate so you want to open up noise gate and you want to set the threshold basically guys noise gate is going to enable you to go ahead and reduce the noise that you hear in the background of your vocals so that you can reduce any echo that you might be having and bring it back to normal but yeah guys basically that is it what you can do so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thank you for watching Take care and bye.